Full time, Arsenal are out of the Champions League, having lost 3 1 to Barcelona. No prizes for guessing the goal scorers uh, Neymar, Luis Suarez, Lionel Messi. And at the end of the day, across the two legs, that was the primary difference between the two teams that clinical finishing, something we've seen Arsenal lacking so much in recent weeks. And uh, Barcelona, of course, absolute expert exponents of that particular art. But I tell you what, this is a game that I was not looking forward to watching at all. And yet I enjoyed it. I actually saw some encouraging signs in an Arsenal performance. I thought going forward, in some ways, it was our most fluid performance for some time. A surprising team selection, Alex Awobi, 19 years old, his first Champions League start. And Mathieu Flamini coming in too at the expense of Francis Coquelin. But it seemed to work really well. And that front four, Iwobi on the left, Alexis on the right, and Ozil behind Danny Welbeck, looked dangerous. And um, if there's anything we can take out of this game, it's that I'd like to, I'd like to see that again. Uh, maybe starting at Goodison Park uh, on Saturday. You know, both the Wobie and Welbeck withdrawn after 70 minutes. Potentially with that in mind. Um, we started well and it looked like we might cause them problems. And then <clears throat> classic Arsenal we gave away a goal in really stupid fashion. Laurent Koscielny will be furious with himself. Captain on the night. Tried to dribble out of defence. Caught by Barcelona's pressing game. Hector Bellerin was high up the pitch, Neymar exploited the space, and we were 1-0 down. But um, we did find a goal, and it came through Mohamed Elneny, who continues to go from strength to strength, really, in the middle of the park. Um, you know, his finishing could be better, but you've got to give him credit. He's got that energy, he's got that intelligence, he keeps arriving in goal-scoring positions. And this time, when the ball was cut back by Alexis, he whipped it into that top corner. Superb, superb strike from him. Um, and more chances kind of came and went. Welbeck was a threat. Um, Alexis played on the right tonight, and I thought for the most part was better, although still some strange decision-making, a little bit selfish at times. Iwobi, hats off to him. I mean, so young but so composed, not at all overawed by the occasion. Um, really intelligent in terms of his movement, in terms of his passing game. That immaculate first touch kills it dead every time. Thought that was a, a hugely encouraging performance from him as an individual. But overall, Arsenal let down by some sloppy defending and some sloppy finishing. Really, at both ends of the pitch, not quite sharp enough. I think even if we had been at our absolute best, we probably would have been eliminated. This is a Barcelona team that's the best in Europe that are almost certainly going to go on and win the competition. I mean, it will take something extraordinary to stop them, especially now that they can uh, afford to focus on it with La Liga surely in the bag. Um, Arsenal's point of view, obviously we're just down to the Premier League now and that Everton game takes on huge significance because lose there and we will be talking about whether or not this Arsenal team can finish in the top four, not, as we were a couple of weeks ago, whether or not they can win the title. But I thought there were a couple of signs tonight uh, to raise the spirits there. What do I take out of it? I take out of it that Wobi deserves to be involved in the first team, certainly above Theo Walcott. I think Danny Welbeck has to start a centre forward if he's fit enough. We're a better team with him there. And I think Elneny is showing that he can play a real part. Uh, he's a more disciplined midfielder than Ramsey. Not as explosive, not as technically gifted, but very solid, very competitive. Um, there we go. Arsenal lost to Barcelona. No surprises. But uh, fingers crossed maybe some light at the end of what's been a very long and difficult tunnel. All right, cheers, guys.